Five minutes on the clock. Sudden death overtime. Shots 31-26. Union. But the score is tied 2-2. Face off win for the Dutchman. Brown into the zone. Kicked right back out to center. Dutchman touch up. Carried in by Campbell. Walking in. A wrist shot high and wide. Caroms to the far point for Taylor. Taylor up the boards. Let it run. To the near point or corner rather for Meyer. Meyer back to the point. Campbell. Wrist shot blocked by Bourbonnet. Bounces to the far corner now. Meyer on it. Near point, Campbell again. He'll line up a shot, goes wide. Sapinski wrapping around, turning and fanning on the shot. Now a shot and a save by Perry. Rebound loose. It's in the net. Somehow it found its way in the net. RPI is complaining. Union's charging the ice, and they just thinking they've scored. The refs are chatting about it. I'm not sure what they're looking at. Uh, they'll look at it again, but now they're conferring among themselves. It, if it goes in, it's they're probably wondering how it went in. How if it, it got was, in, right. If it was gloved or if it, in fact, was a stick. They have to look at this. So they are going to look at it. And yes, <laughs> making sure he's going to say the play is under review. RPI fans are hoping this gets awkward. Let's see. Not sure. It bounced above Chase Perry. I was just about to say that RPI is, or, or the overall record here is 4 3 and 9. RPI with four wins in the overtime history with Union. And three losses. This would even that up. And just 33 seconds into this frame. It's going to be tough to overturn, I tell you that, because I don't see much. You can't see much. Well, the first shot was initially saved. And then Cole Meyer probably going to get credit with this goal if it stands. The only thing you could argue is goalie interference because Meyer just ran himself into Perry. That is true. He doesn't have a right to barrel himself in, even though he took the initial shot. Like I said, it will be hard to overturn. That's the only argument I believe the engineers have in this decision. Well, he's made a decision. Yeah, it's going to be a good goal. It is a good goal. The Union takes the fifth Mayor's Cup by a 3-2 score in overtime. It just took three, uh, 33 seconds of the extra frame. Uh, but a valiant effort once again from these engineers. and. Uh, a lot can be taken. This one pats on the chest to Chase Perry as he heads towards his bench area. He was superb. 30 saves on the night. Kept the engineers in it. Gave him a chance to win. Uh, but RPI coming up just a bit short here against the number nine Union Dutchman. And Chase Perry played that rebound off of his perhaps his glove or his fist. So he tried to just bat it back out. I'm not sure if that was a, a safe play for him. But there was a lot of garbage and, and traffic in front. And RPI certainly outmanned in that respect. They didn't have a lot of success clearing bodies out of the front of their net. And Cole Meyer looked like he was surrounded by RPI bodies, just found a way to get a stick and pop that one over Perry's shoulder. But credit the Union Dutchman for getting pucks to the net. They sunk in deep down there near Perry. They crashed around him. and. And sometimes that's what it takes. You just throw a puck there, you throw a body there, and and Chase Perry's been been good for 30 shots. He struggled on some of them. He's done what he's needed to do, but it didn't really look like he had an eye and a feel for the puck tonight. Maybe that's coming off of that Dartmouth loss just last weekend where they Coach Appert felt the same way battling through that game. He battled through it tonight. As the team shake hands here and the trophy, Mayor's Cup trophy comes out for presentation. RPI lining up on their blue line. And Union huddling and getting a picture opportunity for them. And the cup presentation being presented by the Mayor's of these three great cities, Schenectady, Troy, and Albany. 
So Union takes this one 3-2. to two. We'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. A reminder that WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Go your browser at wrpi.org, and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we will provide the broadcast on our Internet feed. Once again, that is wrpi.org, the Mayor's Cup. Presented to Mike Vecchioni, captain of the Dutchman. Shaking hands. Oh, we're done the scoring here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, Jeff uh, comes up with his offensive and defensive engineers of the game. It was a tight one all the way through. Exactly really what you're looking for. I know for RPI fans, you, you want to come up on the, uh, the other side of things. But for all the, the neutrals that came out, uh, the folks said maybe this is a, the, one of the few... One well, of the few hockey games that they see in the air. It was, there was plenty of uh, excitement to go around, a back and forth game. And of course, there always has to be a winner. And you go to overtime, you get to see a little extra, little extra hockey here. Uh, uh, disappointing, of course, for the engineers. Anyway, what I said I was going to do, Riley Borbonnet opened the scoring at 15.36 of the first period. A power play goal from Jacob Hayhurst. Made it one nothing. RPI Union tied things up at 15.45 of the second. Luke Brown's fourth of the year from Cole Meyer and Brett Sapinski. RPI regained the lead just over a minute later. Charlie Manley, an unassisted tally. His first collegiate goal gave RPI a 2 on lead, but they kept after two. 150 into the third period, however, Anthony Rinaldi scored his third goal of the season from Ryan Burton and Vas Colius. Uh, and then 33 seconds into OT, Cole Meyer's 10th of the season from Luke Brown. A 3-2 overtime win and even strength tally for Meyer, the OT winner. Uh, for him. He had one point in last year's Mayor's Cup as well for Meyer, so it does a thing or two about picking up points here at the Times Union Center. Chase Perry, 30 saved for RPI. Alex the Kelleropolis, the senior netminder for Union, had 24 stops. Uh, Jeff, who do you think uh, had the big games here for RPI? Chase Perry did a heck of a job at net, but you know, struggled to see and feel the puck like I've mentioned. Will Riley made a couple great plays offensively. Mears Moore had a couple shots that were close. One of them hit the bar early in this frame. Charlie Manley, of course, got the goal. 